Hello students and welcome to this class. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about appositives. As you can see I have a very interesting fact which is the uh, definition of appositives. An appositive is a word or a group of words that renames preceding nouns or pronouns. I have three examples here written on the board in sentence structure so that you can see a positives in action. The first example here says, we teachers must do everything to provide quality education. Which of these words in this sentence do you think could be the appositive of this sentence? If an appositive is a word or a group of words that renames preceding nouns or pronouns, the only noun I see here is we, a personal pronoun. So the appositive here must be a word or a group of word that renames this specific pronoun. So which one do you think it is? We teachers must do everything to provide quality education. That's right. Teachers is the appositive here because this word renames this preceding noun. I mean pronoun, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we teachers must do everything to provide quality education. If you take this away, this no longer is an appositive, but it is the subject. If you keep this here, it is also the subject, <laughs> all right? But this renames that pronoun. We teachers, you students, they people, all right? Um, to decide which kind of pronoun you are going to use before the appositive, you must Forget about the appositive for a second. For example, do not pay attention to this second appositive. Let's pretend this here is not here. You should study hard to achieve your excellence. So if we ignore this completely, we know that you must use the personal pronoun you. You English students should study hard. This here renames this personal pronoun. You, English students, we, teachers, these are appositives. And the last one says, they did not mention any of us associates. Any of us associates. As you can see, here, I am not using a personal pronoun, a subjective personal pronoun. I am using an objective form of a personal pronoun. Why? Because this here is playing the role of the object. They did not mention any of us associates. So again, if you want to know which pronoun you are going to use before you are a positive, just ignore it temporarily. Forget about associates. They did not mention any of, you cannot say any of we or any of our you should use, you must use us, the object pronoun, associates. They did not mention any of us associates. Next, I will give you some more examples and exercises so that you can understand it and by the end of this video, have knowledge on this topic. Now you are going to help me Fill in the blanks with the correct pronoun accordingly to the appositive used. For example, this is an appositive, this here is another appositive, and this here is another appositive. This will rename the pronouns we are going to use. The first one says, we will not feel threatened by criminals. You could say, if criminals is the object of this sentence here, we are going to use a pronoun in objective form. We will not be threatened by 
them criminals. As you know, or as you may already know, them is an object pronoun. That is why we are using that pronoun before this appositive, because this is playing the role of the object in the sentence. So the pronoun that precedes the appositive should also be in objective form. The second one says, what is wrong with blank people? What is wrong with blank people? You know that you cannot say what is wrong with she people or what is wrong with he people. People is plural. So we need a plural one. What is wrong with you people? We know that you is singular and it is plural. It can be both an object pronoun and a personal pronoun and subject case. What is wrong with you people? All right. And the last one says, strangers are not allowed in this room. Strangers, plural again. So we know that we need a plural pronoun. But what kind of pronoun are we looking for here? We are looking for a subject form pronoun. And we know that those are the personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. All right, so... I'm going to use we. We strangers are not allowed in this room. You could also say you strangers are not allowed in this room, but you cannot say them strangers are not allowed in this room because then the pronoun would be in object form and not in subject form. And since this word here, strangers, the appositive is in subject form, we are supposed to use a subject form pronoun. All right, next I will leave you some homework. Why? Because you need the practice to get perfect at this topic. All right, for homework, you are going to write four sentences using a positives with their corresponding pronouns. Don't forget to write down the fact which is a definition of a positives and leave your homework in the comment section below this video so that I can check it and review it and well if you have any comments, suggestion, question please also leave it in the comment section below this video if you have a workbook just go ahead and do your homework in your workbook as well this will help you um, practice and get feedback from other viewers Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald and I hope you enjoyed this video. Would you like to watch my next video? Welcome. Click on the television to the right. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about existent pronouns. The first four I am going to present to you.